Have you ever found yourself captivated by the profound mystery and intrigue of the 33rd degree? A grand enigma intricately woven into the fabric of human history, the 33rd degree has been the key to countless minds being lured into its enigmatic allure. This concept emanates straight from within the secretive and often contentious realm of Freemasonry. The term 33rd degree is a creation of the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, a branch that branches off from the traditional craft Freemasonry. The Scottish Rite takes the teachings to the next level, pushing the wisdom to unparalleled heights, far surpassing the traditional three degrees. Venturing into the deeper recesses of Freemasonry met with a maze of theories as elusive as the 33rd degree itself. Some historians track its origins back to the stonemason guilds of the Middle Ages, expert craftsmen who carved with their bare hands. Others draw parallels with the ancient enigmas of Egypt, with its monumental pyramids, cryptic hieroglyphics and enigmatic rituals. Yet some others see a connection with the Knights Templar of the Crusades, legendary warriors belonging to a secret order. The 33rd degree is the ultimate achievement within the Scottish Rite. It's an honorary title bestowed upon individuals who have made notable contributions to society or Freemasonry. It's an acknowledgement of their relentless pursuit of knowledge and virtue and their commitment to the improvement of humanity. Throughout the ages, the knowledge of the 33rd degree has been the ignition point for theories and conjecture. Some see it as the key to unlocking profound spiritual wisdom, a portal to truths beyond the mundane and ordinary. Others view it as a symbol of ultimate power and influence, the highest authority within the Freemasonry. And yet some see it as a testament to personal growth and moral evolution, a marker of one's progression towards enlightenment. But at its very essence, the 33rd degree knowledge encapsulates Masonic thought and philosophy. It's a beacon that illuminates the path for Masonic pursuit of enlightenment, knowledge and understanding. It's a timeless testament to the fascination with the unknown and the esoteric, a symbol of the profound and the otherworldly. As we delve deeper into the layers of history, the enigma of the 33rd degree knowledge seems to intensify, growing more profound and captivating with each unraveling mystery. To delve into the intricate layers of knowledge pertaining to the 33rd degree, we must traverse through the vast corridors of time penetrating to the very core of Freemasonry's enigmatic origins. The birth of Freemasonry is swathed in a cloak of mystery, much like the Order itself, with theories attributing its establishment to various epochs and factions. Some suggest its roots in the arcane mystery schools of ancient Egypt, the architectural guilds during the Middle Ages, or even the cryptic Knights Templar. In a fascinating article by Robert L. D. Cooper published on The Guardian's website, which you can find in the link below, a comprehensive analysis of this enigma is presented. However, the most widely accepted theory proposes that Freemasonry found its roots in the stonemason's stonemason's guilds of medieval Europe. These guilds were a collective of artisans skilled in stone carving responsible for crafting the grand cathedrals and fortresses that we see today as an enduring tribute to their mastery. As these itinerant stonemasons traveled from one building project to another, they formed lodges, sanctuaries for rest, camaraderie, and exchange of knowledge. These lodges, a term still in use today, served as hubs for the masons to share their craft's hidden knowledge and secrets. Over the centuries, these lodges progressively evolved, welcoming men of influence and intellect who were not stonemasons by profession, but were drawn to the guild's principles of fraternity, altruism, and the relentless pursuit of enlightenment. A pivotal point in Freemasonry's evolution occurred in the watershed year of 1717 when four lodges in London merged to form the Lodge, a moment acknowledged by historians as the genesis of Freemasonry as an organized and centrally governed fraternity. This account is backed by extensive archival research provided in books and online resources, including the in-depth historical analysis available on Freemasonry Today's website. The Grand Lodge established a benchmark for standardizing rituals and practices within its jurisdiction and introduced the concept of degrees, including the revered 33rd degree, a rank shrouded in mystery and achievable only by a chosen few. This notable addition to the Freemasonry tradition epitomizes a zenith of personal evolution and understanding, signaling an individual's ultimate advancement within the fraternity. 
The emergence of the 33rd degree, the pinnacle of the Masonic hierarchy, was not an incidental event. This, this was an illustrious landmark, birthed from an intricate tapestry of historical traditions that span countless centuries. The origin and progression of the 33rd degree unravel a gripping narrative of ambition, aspiration, and a relentless pursuit of the most sophisticated form of esoteric knowledge and an wisdom. This degree is not merely a rank. It serves as a radiant beacon illuminating the immense depth of Freemasonry's teachings. It resonates with the Masonic principle of endless enlightenment, accentuating the ethos of a ceaseless journey in the quest for wisdom and knowledge. This is a journey that consistently reveals more wisdom to be discovered, more truths to be uncovered. The inception, the 33rd degree, is intricately intertwined with the establishment of the Scottish Rite, one of the appendant appendant bodies of Freemasonry, known for delving into the profundities of philosophical and moral lessons. Officially acknowledged as the sovereign, this degree came into existence under the patronage of the Scottish Rite. This was a striking deviation from conventional Masonic practices where degrees were achieved through ordered progression and advancement. The 33rd degree holds the highest honor for a Mason, granted only to those who have made significant, significant contributions to society or Freemasonry as a whole. This departure from tradition sparked considerable debate. Some viewed it as core principles of Freemasonry, while others perceived it as a necessary evolution, evolution, a catalyst to further enrich the Masonic journey. Over time, the 33rd degree gained acceptance, progressively becoming an essential part of Masonic tradition, a final of honor bestowed after much devotion, service, and study. The advent of the 33rd degree marked a pivotal moment in the narrative of Freemasonry, injecting a new layer of complexity and fascination. It amplified the mystery and appeal of Freemasonry, further enshrining in the annals of history. Today, the 33rd degree continues to motivate and challenge, shining as a beacon guiding Masons on on their journey towards self-discovery and spiritual growth, embodying an individual's commitment to the fraternity and society at large. Tracing its roots back to ancient times and persisting to the present day, the 33rd degree in Freemasonry remains a fascinating enigma, its mystery amplifying with the passage of time. As we traverse the diverse terrain of the modern age, this Masonic degree retains its cornerstone position, often perceived as the zenith of a Mason's journey. It is a badge of honor conferred upon individuals who have profoundly influenced society through their distinguished contributions. The allure of the 33rd remains potent in the ongoing narrative of our contemporary world, and it gives a fascinating insight into the integral role Freemasonry plays in our society. Let's delve deeper into the 33rd degree with notable Masons such as President Harry S. Truman, General Douglas MacArthur, and astronaut Buzz Aldrin. Each of these figures has left a significant mark on the canvas of history. Their affiliation with this prestigious rank showcases the expansive influence and reach of the 33rd underlining the enduring values it upholds, a commitment to service and moral growth. However, the 33rd degree is not without myths and controversies. On one side of the spectrum, it is seen as an exclusive club, shrouded in mysteries and wielding influence. On the other side, it is perceived as a symbol, an emblem of a Mason's unwavering commitment to service and moral development. The reality, as is often the case, likely embraces both perspectives. There is also a commonly held misconception that the 33rd degree represents the highest rank, a misunderstanding. Although it is indeed the ultimate honor within the Scottish Rite, Freemasonry does not adhere to a linear hierarchy. Each Masonic degree imparts its unique lessons and holds its individual importance, and the 33rd degree is no exception. Its core lessons revolve around the philosophical and moral principles that form the bedrock of Freemasonry. In the 21st century, the 33rd degree continues to spark curiosity and conjecture. Emerging as a beacon of unwavering commitment, it pays tribute to the enduring and timeless values of Freemasonry, brotherhood, benevolence, and truth. As we turn the pages of history, and as we decipher its symbolism and significance in today's context, the 33rd degree continues to be an intriguing enigma that invites the intellectually curious and the steadfast. Perched on the brink of the mysterious, 
we probe into the cryptic mythology of the 33rd degree. This esteemed apex of Freemasonry, a torch of insight and illumination, has etched a profound footprint on the human chronicle. The 33rd degree's dominion reaches beyond the holy chambers of Masonic lodges, imprinting a prominent signature on mainstream culture and literature. Its extensive sway has a complex web of enigma that has adorned both fictitious tales and reality. The pulsating narratives of Dan Brown and grandiose Hollywood productions have recurrently borrowed from, from the mystique of the 33rd degree, depicting it as a closely guarded portal to clandestine wisdom. This representation has only escalated the fascination enveloping the degree, rendering it a tantalizing enigma for the masses. The ubiquitous presence of the 33rd degree in conspiracy theories injects another captivating dimension to its charisma. Some speculate it to be the ultimate tool of influence and governance, while others perceive it as a token of illumination and a tribute to human limitless capability. This range, this range of perceptions often contradictory only invigorates the 33rd degree, fanning our intrigue. As outlined, the 33rd degree has risen as a symbol of the cryptic in our communal psyche. It stands as a badge of the unattainable, a testament to our persistent quest for comprehension and a guiding beacon in our perpetual exploration. Its legacy isn't confined to its historical relevance within Freemasonry, but reaches out to its personification of mankind's unending pursuit of enlightenment. The chronicle of the 33rd degree resonates across society, molding our cultural, our cultural, intellectual and spiritual terrain. Whether cloaked in enigma or lit by enlightenment, the 33rd degree continues to engage us, echoing the infinite depths of human curiosity, unquenchable desire for wisdom. The 33rd degree's impact is discernible in numerous conspiracy theories, such as those postulating that it's a covert fraternity within a secret society, manipulating global, global events from behind the veil. Some even allege that eminent personalities like Winston Churchill and Harry S. Truman were affiliates, utilizing their stature to advance the objectives of the 33rd degree. Furthermore, the 33rd degree has evolved into symbol of the mystic, its arcane nature fueling conjecture and fascination. Its status as an unattainable objective for many Masons only enhances its magnetism, rendering it a potent emblem of the human spirit's tireless pursuit of knowledge and comprehension. Therefore, the voyage of the 33rd degree mirrors humanity's ceaseless quest for enlightenment and our continuous strives to decipher the puzzles. Despite the varying interpretations, one fact remains unchanging. The 33rd degree continues to enthrall and enchant, its saga serving as a testament to humanity's never-ending yearning for wisdom. As the link, Hash, articulates, the enigma of the 33rd degree continues to leave a lasting legacy that transcends time and culture. As we draw the curtain on this journey into the enigma of the 33rd degree, we hope that you have been as entranced by its mystique as we have been while unraveling it. If you found this exploration informative and intriguing, please hit the like button. It's a small gesture, but it goes a long way in supporting our efforts to bring such engaging content to you. The 33rd degree, with its myriad interpretations and theories, is a fertile ground for discourse. We invite you to comment below and share your thoughts, insights, or even theories about the 33rd degree. Let's continue the conversation and delve deeper into the enigma together. And finally, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. This will ensure you don't miss out on our future explorations into the captivating mysteries of history. Our quest is far from over, and we'd love for you to join us on these intriguing voyages. Thank you for watching. And as always, keep your curiosity alive and continue exploring. The world is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled, and together we can uncover them.